Hello, I'm Shirley Knowles, President of Local 39, bringing you a report of our December 4th unit meeting. Now that evening, I believe we got about six inches of snow, but we had nine stout souls who braved the storm and attended our meeting. At the meeting, we talked about an arbitration that has been scheduled for mid-January on behalf of all represented employees regarding the layoffs and the transfer of work to Waverly and Texas. A written decision can take up to three months following the hearing, so we will keep you informed while we all keep our fingers crossed. Our consultants, Morris Andrews and Paul Soglin, continued to meet with local politicians, community leaders, union leaders, and members. They were available at our unit meeting to talk with members and answer their questions. These meetings have been beneficial as well as informative, particularly when there's a small group as each person has an opportunity to spend time asking the questions they would like. As you know, this fall, CUNA Mutual undertook a major media campaign. They wanted to be recognized and clearly branded as a leader in the credit union world. A large part of the success they've achieved is due to the dedication and the hard work of employees like you. In response, the company is replacing you with contractors, Raising the question, what is the company's true direction? What exactly are they valuing? Do we have a future with this firm? The question of the true intentions of CUNA Mutual is an important one. It is one each one of us as individuals has to analyze carefully. Along with our union, we need to decide how we take care of ourselves and our families. Of course, it would be nice if CUNA Mutual Group was truthful with us and showed us the respect that we show our customers. But this doesn't always happen. Meanwhile, our union members at CUNA Mutual Group are pinned to the wall. They need to go up on the offensive. Several have taken the steps to meet with politicians in the area to discuss with them the situation at CUNA Mutual Group. In a day or so, you should have a leaflet about the so-called disaster planning the company is currently engaged in. The question that I have is, what disaster is the company planning for? In the past, we have partnered with our managers to cover any disasters to ensure that our company was safe and that its members were taken care of. Huge disasters like Louisiana were handled with care in a very timely manner. And many, many union employees went the extra mile to see that they were taken care of. So I don't know what this new disaster plan is. I sure would like to know. Perhaps what they're doing is just justifying whatever they want to do. We'll wait and see what kind of news we get on that. Our next unit meeting will be held in January and we will notify you of the exact date. We are looking at a location on the west side. As many of you have said, particularly in bad weather, it is difficult to get over to the union office in a timely fashion. So we're trying to be respectful of that and take and make other arrangements. We'll let you know as soon as we have a confirmed date and time. Now for tonight, this is Shirley signing off, saying take care of yourself. Good night.